Hi, I'm Nick Costello with Anton Parr. Welcome to Precision in Practice, your source for virtual demos, expert tips, and real-world questions. Today we'll be working with one of our most popular and versatile instruments, the Anton Parr DMA-35. Now that we're in the lab, let's take a closer look at the DMA-35 itself. This device is lightweight, compact, and built for tough environments. The bright backlit LED screen rotates and uses touch keys that even work with gloves. It features a manual hand pump for quick sample intake and a durable measuring cell protected by rubber housing. There's even a built-in LED so that you always know that your sample is clean and bubble free. For hazardous environments, Anton Parr developed the EX version that's intrinsically safe and compliant. Let's start by powering on the DMA-35. The interface is easy to use. Touch the keys to navigate the menus, access measurement modes, and change settings. It can be used left or right-handed. You can also link a wireless printer and export results using Bluetooth for perfectly traceable results in regulated environments. Now we're all set up to run some measurements. We're gonna start off with some distilled water to make sure our device is calibrated. Then we'll move on to some grape juice to see the bricks content and specific gravity. Finally, we'll do IPA and hydrogen peroxide for our concentration checks. So let's get started. I'm gonna turn on our device. And we are going to go to the water check feature. I'll go ahead and start. And it'll walk you through the steps. So it says, fill with water. I'll go ahead and do that now. Make sure we don't have any bubbles. And we'll hit start. And this is going to tell us if our device is ready to use, if it needs to be cleaned a little bit more, or if it needs an adjustment. Water check passed. We're good to go. So let's go back to the main menu. And let's look at our density. 9972. Right on, right on point. So we'll empty into our waste container. And we'll move on to the grape juice. I usually like to do two draws of the sample to make sure that cell is clear and full of just the sample you're trying to test. So we'll do one. And two. It only requires two milliliters of sample. So, it shows our density at 1.063 and our specific gravity at 1.0658. Let's check the bricks. So we're going to go up to here. We're going to change our sample. And we'll go to sugar. 16.3 degrees bricks. Right where it should be for juice. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, rinse our device using distilled water. And we'll make sure our density is right on point. So rinsing really depends on what you're sampling, but I like to do four to five rinses. 
when changing to different samples. So we'll switch back to density and see what we're at. Right on point where we should be. Now, let's move on to our IPA, our isopropyl alcohol. So same thing. I'm going to do two draws of the sample to make sure my cell is clear of anything that was previously in it. There's one. And two. So, we'll go ahead and switch our method here. To ethanol. The DMA is saying 94%. The bottle says 91%. Looks like they're off a little bit. Now we're going to move on to hydrogen peroxide. Go ahead and rinse our DMA out so that measuring cell is nice and clean. Again, four or five rinses should do it. Draw number one. And number two. So we'll switch our sample method again to hydrogen peroxide. DMA saying 3%. The bottle is 3%, right on point. So DMA 35 brings laboratory precision right into your hands wherever measurements are needed. With fast results, simple operation, and certified safety in even the most hazardous environments, it's the smart choice for any setting. If you'd like to schedule a demo at your facility or have any questions about your application, please feel free to reach out to me directly or visit anton-par.com. Thanks for watching Precision in Practice and stay tuned for more hands-on demos. I'm Nick Costello. Have a good day.